been expecting you. The smoke from my incense told me you would be stopping by any day now. I'm glad I read it correctly. <laughs> hmm? What's the matter? Are you still having trouble in your potions class? Hmm. I'd love to help you, but the shop is awfully busy during this time of year. People all over Fawn Hollow are purchasing their potions in advance, anticipating the Harvest Festival. And all the students are buying ingredients for their final exams. I know it's good for business, but it's a little overwhelming, and I'm not sure if there's time today. Hmm. Well, all right, I'll help you with your assignment. It's what friends are for. Which potion seems to be giving you trouble? The transmutation potion? Hmm, I see. Well, the first step is always identifying your goal. What exactly do you wish to transform into? A cat? Are you certain? Well, if that's the case, you are in luck. The shop cat Midnight is sleeping by the fireplace. If you pet him, I'm sure he won't mind you taking a few strands of fur from his coat. Don't worry, he won't bite. Midnight's a sweetheart. Here, you can place the loose strands in my hand. Going. We'll need a bit more than that to turn you into a feline. So... Dare I ask what happened the last time you attempted to make this potion? <laughs> you did! I wish I had been there with you. I can just picture your face. <laughs> of course I think it's funny. Sometimes the best thing to do is simply to call a flop a flop. We've all been there at one time or another. <laughs> I think that'll be enough cat hair. See? He didn't mind at all. Let's gather the rest of the ingredients. Otherwise, we'll be running all around. Hand me the banshee root, please. It's on the top shelf over there, the blue jar over the dragon scales. We also need calla lily water, black thimbleweed, and the extract of mock belladonna. I'll grab the extract. Hmm, where did Miss Hollowell put it? I know it was here somewhere. Let's see. Griffin hair, ground hemlock bark, phantom poppy dust. I really need to tidy up this shelf. What is this? Moonlight powder. I thought we had lost this. It's perfect for healing potions. Mm. Found it. Stored all the way in the back of the shelf. You know, I think I might know what your problem is. Don't take this the wrong way, but when we were in school together, you were always in a rush, trying to do too many things at once. Maybe you're too eager to finish your potions as fast as possible. Trouble comes for witches who end up mixing the ingredients in a rush. 
This is a fine art. It cannot be achieved with impatience in our hearts. We must cherish every component we add to our cauldron and understand its importance. The whole is not always greater than the sum of its parts, you know. Let's try something together. Do you trust me? Close your eyes. I want you to inhale deeply and hold the air in your lungs for three seconds. So, we'll blow out all the old air. And let's breathe in. Hold one, two, three, and exhale. Do it again. Come on, trust me. Deep breath in. Hold one, two, three, and breathe out. Feeling a little better? I thought so. Hey, this potion will definitely have you turning into a cat during your final exam. So, what's the first ingredient? Perfect. Now add one, no, two teaspoons. Let's make it two. Then tell me, what comes next? Take your time trying to remember. That's right, the cat hair. See, you're so smart. All you need to do is focus. Now pour the calla lily water. The whole jar, but remember not to pour it all at once. That's it! Do you see the way the potion changes color bit by bit? From that musky green it had when we began, now it has a light, vibrant green. That's precisely what we want to happen. Now we let it simmer on the stove for a bit. There's no need to constantly stir it around. Let's get your mind off the process for a moment. Do you want some tea? Okay. One or two sugar cubes. <laughs> Three? No wonder you're always so sweet. Yes, I called you sweet. Why wouldn't I? You always were the most adorable witch in school. You're acting so embarrassed. But it's nice to receive a compliment, isn't it? We've been friends for so long, I can't believe you're still surprised when I have nice things to say about you. I'm your friend, and I want you to become the best possible witch you can be. I don't think I've ever told you this, but through the years I've known you, you've grown so much. You seemed so reckless when you first started at the Academy. I remember when we first met. You were a first year, but you really acted like a know-it-all. <laughs> huh? No need to worry. Everyone can see how much you've grown. You're truly an example to others in tenacity. We all have times in life that maybe feel a little embarrassing when we look back, but you've done an amazing job in continuing to move forward. The most important thing is to keep trying. And now, let's see how the potion is doing. You see how the color has changed from green to blue? And it's glowing a little bit. Do you remember what the next step is? Yes, you're right. Add it and stir twice counterclockwise. Practice going slowly. And now three times clockwise. Perfect. You're getting better at this already. We still have one more ingredient to go. Do you recall the amount you need to add now? What do you mean? Of course I remember. I want you to tell me the right answer. Hmm. That's close, but not quite. 
Try again. Perfect. Grab a spoon and add it. Careful. That's it. Now the potion is almost ready. Done! You can pour the potion into the bottles you brought. Three should be enough. That's it. Pour nice and slow. That's perfect. Any questions? I'm glad you're feeling more confident. You're a hard worker, and you're willing to ask for help, and you want to improve your skills. And that hard work in every part of your life is going to make you a great witch. And it's already made you a great person. And a great friend. So, do you have everything you need? Huh? Of course I'll give you a hug. Here. I really care about you. And I... Uh, well... I really need to go back to my orders now. <clears throat> You'll be back to visit me soon, right? I'll be looking forward to it. I've been missing you. Good luck on your exam, and... Don't get into too much trouble during your time as a cat. Mm-hmm. <laughs>